Okay, day three now. Um, it's 1 a.m. <laughs> Today was a really, really busy day. Because we started off with waking up early for for church because my grandma wanted us all wanted us all, like all ah, she wanted us all to go to church. And so um, I was waiting for the shower. You see, because here they do things a little different. Like you shower. Like in this separate room that's outside and all and like someone was using it so i was waiting and all and then like my uncle he was like what are you waiting for just go to my house and so he just grabbed me and pulled me all the way down the block to his house and then i just showered in there it was pretty awkward on my way out um and uh i saw the river on my way it was really nice uh, when we came back, we were all, everyone was, like, getting ready, ha eating breakfast and all, and then we headed out to church. Uh, we showed up a little late, and so it was, like, really full, and then I got stuck, like, for some reason, instead of, like, when you go late, instead of going in the back, you end up in the front somehow, so I ended up, like, dead center front with a folding chair it was pretty it was so awkward i got looked at by a lot of people some good some really awkward um then after of course like outside of the church in this like area they had like it would be like a celebration there were tents and like tables food there were bands playing and there was like these like dance people it's pretty it's pretty awesome actually uh, and then later on in the night there were fireworks and the window reached around six my grandma made us go to church a second time, uh, and, uh, and then after the church, that church, it was, like, the same thing again, like, more of the celebration, like, they continued on, then, uh, fireworks started happening, it was pretty cool, I watched, I just stuck around and, like, watched the dances and stuff, because there wasn't really much to do, and then, so, and then, like I said, in, um, in day two, David and I ended up seeing the guy that fell out of the truck. <laughs> it was so weird. We, like we avoided him, um, like but like as he walked by, he had this kind of limp going on. Like he started limping, <laughs> and so we assumed that he kind of got hurt. <laughs> um, I feel bad for him. I feel bad for laughing about that. Um, so. Uh, we, we, as it started getting darker and it was like the night started coming in, we went like to the back of the church where this one guy, I don't know who trusted this man with these fireworks, but he brought, he came in with a big old package of fireworks and he started loading them up in these little like machine holster thingies where you just put them all in and light one and they all shoot. Okay. And, uh, he was doing that. And he was, like, playing with little kids while he was at it, which was totally not safe. He was letting the kids load them up for him. They were, like, five. And, uh, and then at some point, he wanted to try something a little interesting. So he got one of those little rocket, like, fireworks, that the kind that shoot up and blow up big. He got it, broke off the stick, stuck it under like put it on the floor put a big rock over it with the fuse sticking out from the bottom and he lit it and ran away he told everyone to get back and this thing blew up so hard that the rock this big rock flew up and the thing like still gave out this huge blast like the explosion like gave out this huge blast like you could feel it, it was crazy it made my ears ring and, uh, yeah, after that, we just went back to watch the dances and all that, waiting, waiting for, for, like, to go. And then, uh, at some point, my dad offered to go take us, like, to the small little place to eat. And so we went, and we tried out, like, these, like, tortas. They were really, really good. But, like, the taste was really, really different because, like, here all the food is grown and, like, produced differently than in the U.S. And so, like, I can't eat a lot or else it'll mess me up because I'm not used to it yet. But it was really good. I really liked it here. Um, yeah, that's, uh, 
that's what happened during all that. And then um, after a while, like around, I think, I want to say nine, we decided to head back home. And uh, we give a ride to one of my uncles because like his truck broke down and all. And then when they brought it back over to the house, they wanted, they were going to push it and they wanted me to be driving it. And so I was like, why not? And then as I was doing it, you know, like, there's nothing like getting yelled at by a bunch of old guys from behind of a truck. That's, uh, that's how that went. It took a while, but I got it done. Um, and then we were just getting settled in in the, in our room and all, just here unpacking our stuff, getting ready, because tomorrow we're going to be going to Puerto Vallarta to visit one of my tias. Um, that's... Uh, we're going to be there for like four, four or five days. And, um, yeah, we got our stuff ready. And as I was getting my stuff ready, because, because we got like a new light bulb in the room and stuff, and this was like really bright, a big old moth, like the size of my palm or hand, not even exaggerating, flew in and like... It was just flying around, and when it came in, everyone started screaming, like, screaming, freaking out, even, like, the baby was, like, sitting down, and, like, she didn't know what was happening, and, um, and I was telling everyone to shut up, I was smacking them with my shirt, and then, um, then my sister thought it was a good idea to grab a pillow and start swinging at it, and so she started doing that, and I tried stopping her, but she got the, she hit them off with the pillow, and ended up, um, going into my baby sister's face and she was just like at that point she was just freaking out like so much fear went through her and um and then like of course my parents heard all the screaming and they came and stuff like my mom got all mad at my sisters for scaring the baby then my dad called the mom out calling them a bunch of wussies uh, <laughs> and i'm just there like all of you are dumb and then, um, and yeah, and the poor little child was traumatized. I wouldn't be surprised if she's, like, horrified of insects. That should be fine soon. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what happened tonight. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to wake up early tomorrow. I grown, I think, six. So I can head out on the road because it's a good, like, eight or nine hour drive again just to go over there to see my dear so yeah this is um this was day three and uh we'll see what happens on day four